What's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Wi-Fi battle. Today we are doing something I never thought I would ever do on the channel and we are having an Ubers tier match against my buddy Hayden or Hey Dunn on YouTube. If you guys don't know who he is, you've been living under a rock because this man is like one of the OG Wi-Fi battlers and it is an honor to actually consider this man a friend of mine. But uh, anyway, he asked me for an Ubers tier match and I'm like, oh my god, I've never played Ubers in my life. So, this is going to be fucking interesting, and uh, looking at his team, oh boy, his team is literally six Ubers. Scary as shit. So, he's got the Marshadow, the Ho-Oh, Naganadel, Giratina, which is a fucking monster. It's like one of the bulkiest mons in the game. He has Darkrai, which I was a little bit skeptical about. I know Darkrai got nerfed. Uh, it's Dark Void only works like 50% of the time now, so I was a little confused why he brought that. And then he also has the Eveltal. Now look at my team, I'm actually, I, like, you guys know me, I, whenever we have like the Ubers FFAs, I never bring like a, a full team of Ubers or whatever, I wanted to have some fun with it, so I actually brought half a team of Ubers and then half not Ubers, so uh, we have my boy Shuckle here, and uh, the number one rule of Wi-Fi battling is you don't fuckle with a Shuckle. We also have the god himself, Arceus, or Arceus, however you want to pronounce that, I say Arceus. It just sounds better. We also have Lugia, the the god of the sea or king of the sea or whatever the hell it is in that movie. We also have Mimikyu. Now, Mimikyu is awesome because I wanted to try out its exclusive Z-move. Spoiler alert, I did not get a chance to use it in this battle, but we'll definitely try it out sometime. Um, and then we also have a Kyogre here. Now, Kyogre, I am not rocking the primal Kyogre. I'm actually rocking a choice spec set. Um, I didn't want to go like all out with the primals and shit. And then finally, we have Magirna, one of my favorite mons ever. I love Magirna. But uh, yeah, this, this battle was really interesting, and I hope you guys will enjoy. Alright, so the battle begins. My opponent is going to lead off with his Marshadow, as I'm going to lead off with good old Stuart here, the Shuckle. And uh, Hayden still has not changed his fucking trainer avatar yet. <laughs> but uh, anyway, he's going to go for the close combat on the first turn, and we'll see that he's actually Life Orb, so this thing's definitely a threat. Unfortunately for me, I was predicting something else. I thought he would either go for, like, Swagger or Swords Dance or something. So I actually tried to catch him with the Encore, but unfortunately for me, now he's Encored into the close combat. So this is not the best situation for me, but oddly enough, he's actually going to swap out into Squaw, which is the Ho-Oh here. And uh, I'm just going to take this opportunity to set up some free Stealth Rock, not Stealth Rock, sorry, uh, Sticky Web. Because I wanted to slow down his team for my Kyogre. As I said before, I'm not Primal, so I don't have like the Primal Speed Boost or whatever. I'm actually running Modest Kyogre, so uh, the Sticky Webs are definitely going to help me outspeed stuff. And I was a little afraid that the Ho-Oh would carry Defog, because I know it does get access to that. But I'm actually going to go for Stealth Rocks as he Toxics me, which is fine. Um, I kind of wanted to try to force him into a situation where he had to go for defog so I could encore him into defog and then swap out. So here he's actually going to go for the sacred fire as I go for the encore again trying to encore him into defog or whatever. But no, he's just going to go for the attack and now he's essentially encored into sacred fire which honestly is not bad for me either. Uh, because I obviously do have the Kyogre in the back, so he's going to go for another Sacred Fire here and kill off the Stuart. But Shuckle has done his job, and uh, he got up both hazards, so really couldn't ask for more. So here I'm gonna bring out Spank Bank, which is my Kyogre. My Drizzle's gonna activate. My boy out here making it fucking rain on the battlefield, and uh, Hayden's gonna have to get the hell out of here. Now this play was fucking incredible, guys. Look how much damage this Kyogre does. I am Specs Modest in the rain. Water Spout does a fucking dick load of damage to this Giratina. And keep in mind guys, water moves are resisted by Dragon types. And oh my god, this damn near kills the thing. I was beside myself. Now that was a crit, but um, holy shit dude, that was fucking wild. Even without the crit guys, it would have been a two hit KO. So honestly, in the long run of this battle, that crit did not matter at all. That is a dead Giratina. Holy shit, that did a fuck ton. Kyogre is out here packing heat. <laughs> and uh, so my opponent is now going to bring out the Eveltal, and I know this thing outspeeds me. He's going to get hit by some Stealth Cocks, and uh, I'm just going to get the hell out of here because I kind of want to conserve my Kyogre in the back. 
and uh, just have that water spelled at full HP. So here I'm going to bring out the Magirna because I know I can basically wall anything that this thing wants to go for. I pretty much resist all of its attacking moves. So he's going to go for the Dark Pulse there. Obviously Magirna is going to laugh that off and uh, I'm going to get some leftovers back. And uh, here I'm just going to go for the, uh, I think I go for the Volt Switch predicting the swap because obviously who the hell is going to stay in on a Dark type or who the hell is going to leave their Dark type in on a Fairy type. Let's be real here. So here he's going to bring out the Ho-Oh. He's going to get dicked by some Stealth Cocks and the Volt Switch here. So that is perfect for me. That was a really good play on my part. I'm not going to lie. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but here I'm going to bring out Lugia the wall and uh, he literally cannot touch me. And I thought maybe he would try to go for Defog now to get rid of all my hazards, but he's actually going to go for Toxic again. Um, so I'm thinking maybe he doesn't have Defog on this team at all. Uh, so that honestly is okay for me, although it does kind of suck for Lugia because he is going to prevent me from using multi-scale ever in this battle, as I do not have Heal Bell on my Magirna. But I'm going to go ahead and Whirlwind him out, and uh, this is just going to be better for me because now uh, I believe his Ho-Oh is dead upon switch-in due to Stealth Rocks, and Eveltal is going to take more damage from Stealth Rocks as well. So here I think I swap out. Uh, because I don't want to take a dark type attack. I'm actually a physically defensive Lugia rather than special, so I probably could have taken it, but I just don't want to. Um, as I bring out my Magirna, my opponent is going to make a good play, maintaining the momentum here, going for the U-turn. He's going to be able to get switch initiative, and uh, here he's going to bring out Dart. Now, here I kind of got shit on, um, just my dumb Chad luck, and uh, I actually calced it after Stealth Rock's damage, my Floor Cannon, actually had a pretty solid chance of killing him in one shot. Now this Magirna is max HP, max special defense. I don't have special attack investment at all. And uh, he's gonna go for the flamethrower there. I'm actually surprised most of, uh, most Naga Nadel actually carry the fire blast just for more damage. Um, but yeah, here I'm just gonna go for the floor cannon. And unfortunately for me, he's gonna fucking live on like one HP. That sucked so much. This thing could have died easily but now he's going to be able to get more chip damage off on my Magirna, and not to mention he also burned me from that flamethrower, which is a fucking 10% chance, let's talk about that. <laughs> and uh, here he's just going to flamethrower me again, and Magirna eats that shit up, but it's definitely taking its toll. I'm just going to go for the Volt Switch here and uh, kill off the Naga Adele. Now because I killed his Mon with Volt Switch, I'm going to have to bring my Mon in first, and my opponent's going to have to bring in something that kind of deals with it. So I kind of figured the hardest mod on my team for my opponent to deal with is my Kyogre. So I'm going to bring out my boy Spank Bank here. And uh, we're going to make it rain once again. And uh, my opponent, I believe, is going to go out. Yeah, he goes out into the Dark Rai. So I was honestly a little bit terrified of the Dark Void. But I kind of, then I remembered I, I do have the, um, the Sticky Web. So I'm actually going to be able to outspeed him here. Go for the Water Spout, and the Stealth Rocks actually broke his Focus Sash, if he was Focus Sashed. And uh, that is a dead Darkrai, so fucking Kyogre here claiming lives. And uh, my opponent's going to bring out the Eveltal once again, going to take another round of Stealth Rocks damage, and I'm going to get the hell out of here, because I do not want my Kyogre taking even an ounce of damage. <laughs> so I'm going to withdraw again, bring out Ada Carne, uh, the Magirna. And he is going to go for the Oblivion Wing. I actually lived this on 4 HP, which is kind of wild. Um, and I thought the burn would have killed me. Yeah, yeah, it kills me. No, no, wait, no, it doesn't because I'm leftovers. I totally forgot. So yeah, the after the burn, I'm going to be left at 4 HP again. Because uh, burn and leftovers, like, basically negate each other out. Um, so here, I'm just going to go for the Volt Switch. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Here, I was actually going to be kind of cheeky. I went for the Pain Split. On the off chance he didn't want to kill me off, but he's just going to kill me off and that's fine. He gets a useless crit there, it didn't matter. But yeah, it would have been fucking lols had I gotten the uh, the pain split off there. That would have been amazing. So here, I'm just going to bring up my boy Mimikyu. And honestly, Mimikyu can just come in and run a train all over my opponent's team. I know he outspeeds me. And I kind of wanted to get up to plus two with stealth, or not stealth rocks, what the fuck, with uh, swords dance here. So he's going to break my disguise, he's going to break my neck, which that probably hurts a little bit. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go for the swords dance here. And I wasn't sure if a plus two uh, shadow sneak would kill Eveltal. Eveltal definitely has some decent bulk to it, plus it would be resisted. So I decided I'm actually just going to take the hit 
and uh, he's going to go for the Oblivion Wing as I do go for the Play Rough. Now, this play probably would have been optimal for me to use my Z move, but I I decided, fuck it, I'm going to risk it. Uh, play Rough does have that 90% accuracy. Thank God I didn't miss, and that is going to kill off the Eveltal. I probably should have made the safer play and gone for the Z move there, but it's whatever. Live and learn. Hindsight's 20-20. He's going to bring out his Marshadow here, and I can basically just kill this thing off with a Shadow Sneak at plus two. Plus super effective. That Marshadow literally <laughs> stands no chance of living this. And I even get a crit there just to slap. There's a lot of crits in this, in this battle. But yeah, just to uh, slap him in the balls there a little bit. And uh, his last mon here is the Ho-Oh, who is going to die to the Stealth Rocks, and that is game. So, good game, Hayden. Uh, now, I know what you guys are thinking this battle was obviously pretty one-sided, um, which is kind of wild, because I'm only bringing half Ubers to his full Ubers team. But, um, Hayden did tell me that he would want to try to get another battle with these teams, and just to try to get a, uh, like a closer battle. Um, but anyway, I wanted to upload this anyway just because I thought it was funny that I beat a full Ubers team with, an half, with a half Ubers team. But uh, anyway guys, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. I already said that. Fuck. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. I love you. Peace out.